Oh man, oh man, I got a nice shape up today from my boy Hawk. But I made a huge mistake. I've done it multiple times and I want you to avoid making this mistake as well because it can affect you as a content creator, as a music video director, editor, as a photographer, as a vlogger, YouTuber. If you make this mistake, it's gonna ruin you <laughs> like it did me. I'm happy to finally say I've got out of the consequences from making this mistake. And I've made these mistakes or this mistake so many times. It's so, it's kind of toxic, it's unhealthy, and it just sucks. It really sucks. It's not even, it's, it's a good problem low key, but you just have to control it. You have to level it out. You have to have some balance with it. You can see I'm excited because I've got myself out of the hole. <laughs> If you do any type of content, videos, photos, you have to avoid OSUE, overshooting and under editing. You cannot put too much on your plate. It's good to get ideas and it's good to start the ideas, but if you're not executing and finishing the ideas, it's going to leave you in a hole. I have so many different ideas every day and I feel like it's getting darker in here, so let me boost this ISO. I have so many ideas day in and day out, right? If I'm constantly starting that idea, shooting it and then putting it on the hard drive and then the next day having another idea of shooting it put it on the hard drive and I'm not ever finding any time to get those edited I'm overshooting and under editing I'm not editing as fast as I'm producing ideas and shooting and that's what I've been doing for a very very long time because as a youtuber you have to continuously have new ideas and put new things out and share new things for people to consume so for me I'm very very good I love shooting and I love editing too but I love shooting I love setting up a frame I love shooting a cool music video performance I love setting up some cool lights and cutting that shutter speed up and getting an edgy performance on a music video. I love just shooting and talking and giving my personality. But I don't have enough time to get those edited. And I know that and I also know that yes, I could hire an editor and that would be the more realistic thing to do as a business. I really like my personal touch on my videos and I haven't wanted to hire an editor because I feel like it's gonna be more of a hassle to teach somebody how I like things done rather than me just being able to knock it out. And that's just, that is the truth. I'm gonna be able to do it faster than teaching somebody and then telling them what to do and then having to go back in and fix somebody else's mistakes. As a business, I don't need to scale up anymore. I feel like I'm at a good point. I can continuously put things out, but what you cannot do, I can't do, you can't do, is keep coming up with ideas and shooting them and never getting to editing them. And that's why for a very long time I've been playing catch up here on this channel and I haven't even wanted to shoot. Well, I have wanted to shoot things, actually. I have wanted to shoot things. And then when you're in the moment, a lot of creativity comes from spur of the moment, from your gut, a feeling like, oh, I wanna make, I got an idea, I wanna make and act on it, make it right now. And then you can't do that if you have a bunch of other things that you still need to edit, like music videos or vlogs or tutorials or wedding videos or whatever the case may be, client projects. If you have a ton of stuff in front of that that you know you have to work on, you can't just act off your gut instincts or an idea. But you can if you wanna be behind and continuously just be mixed up and all over the place, but I personally haven't been able to and it's been a big mistake on my end to continuously keep shooting new, new things when I have other things to do and just stacking it all up and never just being able to cut the camera on like right now and act on an idea, a genuine gem that I have to share with you all. I couldn't really act on those. Now I can act on those because now I'm caught up. I just finished my newest vlog that just dropped two days ago. You should go check it out to see what you know I've been doing past few months, whatever, a couple different trips and behind the scenes and cool stuff is really dope. The point of the matter is, you don't wanna shoot, continuously come up with new ideas, start them and not complete them, execute them because you have other things in front of that that you have to do. You wanna be right on point. You could just cut your camera on and make whatever you want right now because you feel it. I'm very excited to say I'm out of the hole and now this video is gonna drop maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, who knows, whatever I want because I can go edit it right now as soon as I'm done and put it out and share it to you all. But I just wanted to share that. If you were shooting, like constantly shooting and not getting enough time to edit, you need to dial back the shooting and throw some more edit in there and balance it out so you don't make these mistakes and you can make whatever you want whenever you want get new clients whenever you want hey I'm open tomorrow I can shoot your video tomorrow it's just when you're up to speed and you're not behind this has been one of my biggest goals for the past two years I don't know if you've been around this channel and you've been checking out my New Year's goals every year at the end of December beginning of January it's always I want to be caught up I want to get ahead I want to stay ahead and I haven't I've made the mistake I failed but I'm finally here to a point where I'm gonna just spit. Whoops. I'm caught up. My son is requesting some time on Roblox. I got you, bro. <laughs>
got you. I'm finally caught up to a good space and I just want to share that message with y'all because me, even whatever you know it stands for as a music video director or a YouTuber or whatever the case may be, all the work and things that I've done in my career and that I'm doing right now, I've struggled with staying ahead. And it's not easy for somebody like me and it probably is not easy for somebody like you. We all have tons of ideas. You just have to balance it out and not put yourself behind. Don't dig yourself in that hole and keep shooting and shooting and shooting and not editing and getting those things out because you want to be able to act when you feel it.